is it in the interests of Britain that Scotland uh, should remain part of the United Kingdom? And I think the answer clearly is yes. But a little part of me thought, well, it would be quite exciting, actually, if they did vote to go, because that would sort of shake things up. And basically what UKIP has done is to mobilise a latent political divide, one which was there, but which had no one really speaking for it before. I think there is uh, a need for uh, recognising that we are one planet, one globe. You cannot have borders that are made of so strong you can stay intact in one country. Europeans are joining the jihad organisations in Syria or Iraq. And meanwhile, conflict in Ukraine is causing interruptions in trade. So my question is, how can governments in the West protect their citizens from the social and economic impacts generated by such crisis? We cannot afford in the uh, world in which we live and given the terrorist threat that we now face to believe that it's possible to insulate ourselves within our um, borders. I'd just like to ask Lord Lamont to clarify some of his comments because it deeply upsets me that I'm beginning a course, a three-year course in economics and he's describing it as futile. And actually, in the majority of cases, most economics forecasts probably do work out. There is a, a very strong national consensus that we have had too much immigration uh, over the last 15 years and we want to reduce it back to moderate levels. We don't want to stop it, we want to reduce it back to moderate levels. I mean, political leaders need to understand that in 20 years from now, the forces of technology will make the planet come closer together. So we had a fantastic panel of speakers today. Um, we had Professor Mutu, who's head of the economics department here at Warwick, and he also co-directs the Warwick Policy Lab. Then we had our own Vice-Chancellor, Nigel Thrift. Both of those were on Question Time last year as well, so that was a return visit for them. Um, then we were really pleased to welcome Lord Lamont. People will know of him, obviously, because he was a former Chancellor of the Exchequer in the UK. We had Jackie Smith, who was the first ever female Home Secretary, and who also was on our question time last year as well. And then we had David Goodhart, who's currently um, the head of Demos, and he was the co-founder of the Prospect magazine. I think the questions today were fantastic. They covered a range of topics. And what's interesting about the questions is we were constantly going back to basic themes about communication, about engagement across the globe, about a variety of issues, about how we govern ourselves, about the flow of people from country to country, all really important issues. It was such an exciting panel in all sorts of ways, plenty of disagreement, plenty of controversy, plenty of fun. I enjoyed it very much, very lively audience, big audience, politicians always love. I thought the interaction with the students was excellent, the range of questions was sort of topical but challenging, so I very much enjoyed it. Well, I think particularly for overseas students, it's very important to see British open debate, argument. You don't always get that in all countries. Giving students the opportunity to explore ideas, to question people who are decision makers or former decision makers is a good way of helping to sort of engender enthusiasm, hopefully, for continuing studies. I think an event like this can help with your study because it gives you ambition and gives you a focus of what you could do and what you could achieve. I enjoyed uh, that the questions were very um, current especially about UK. There aren't many other experiences in your life where you get the opportunity to take part in and to react to these kind of events. It's just great to hear all the different opinions about all the different matters that are going on in the world at the moment. One of the things we need to do at universities is to try to show the students how to apply their knowledge. We want to inspire them. We want them to think for themselves. And so events like these really focus their minds you know, we had a question about economics and its usefulness or otherwise. And again, as they go to the lecture theater, they can come away and think and relate to these events and be inspired by these events. So it's about inspiration. It's about getting our students thinking hard for themselves.